As a lead IQA, we have now reflected on the visions, uh, the mission statements, um, the, the policies, the procedures of your organisation. Okay, now is the time to start to plan your lead IQA activities. Okay, so as a lead IQA, of course, you're responsible for a team of assessors, internal and also external quality assurers. So we do need to communicate with a range of uh, different people. OK, and one key uh, factor that we use in terms of organising ourselves and the organisation is by using a, a work plan. OK, so this is a visual reminder of what needs to be done, uh, when, and it will have a range of proposed dates for meetings, um, obs observations and also communications with assessors and internal quality assurers as well. This is very much a live document which is held centrally, okay, so other uh, fellow IQAs, assessors can of course uh, review and see this document and of course as a working document um, the dates will be changed almost daily as well to keep reflective of the quality assurance cycle. As you can see behind me, this um, has been taken from the Anne Gravels textbook. Do have a look at pages 153 to 157 as well. Okay, um, so in terms of this table, we can see a range of activities and also the months as well. Okay, this example is the plan, monitor and review the IQA process in accordance with organisational requirements for customer service qualification. So very much from perhaps a college or sixth form setting here. Okay, a range of uh, different um, activities are on the, on the side of the table, such as to produce IQA observation plan, ensure otherwise IQAs are competent in theirs, and also plan team meetings, dates, and delegate the role of the chair on a, ba on a rotor basis as well. Okay, so a range of different activities, not only that yourself, the IQA, are performing, but also delegating roles and responsibilities to other IQAs and assessors. So lots of timely reminders are going to be mentioned here. For this criteria, we would like for you to produce your very own work plan, okay? You can uh, create one, which is very much similar to the Anne Gravel's example, and there's also a train aid template, which you could use. Of course, you can submit your own organization's work plan as well, okay? However, we would like for you to complete uh, one of your um, IQA work plans, okay? So within your portfolio, we are expecting to see um, a table like this, uh, completed with proposed dates as well. You could wish to colour code uh, your own uh, work plan. Okay, so do have uh, proposed dates for upcoming observations, sampling and also meeting dates as well. Okay, you could also, um, of course, colour code your plan. Um, you could also add a, a risk rating for each IQA that you're monitoring, okay? If there are perhaps a, a new IQA within your organisation, they are deemed as high risk, okay? They're new to the IQA role. You might need to monitor and sample their work uh, more often, okay? Uh, if there's a more, perhaps a more experienced IQA, okay, they are known as uh, less risk because um, they've been uh, working within their IQA role for, for many, many years. However, they still, of course, need to be sampled as well. Okay, so to meet this criteria 1.4, you need to produce uh, your very own work plan. As I said, do have a look in the textbook and also do have a look at our train aid uh, template as well for you to, uh, to fill in.